but that's backwards. That's where drama is. I, I see Mars as part of an ancient story that goes back thousands of years. Uh, we have within us a deep desire to understand the world around us, to uh, see what is beyond the horizon, to go places we haven't been to. Uh, you know, th there, there was some early human traipsing around here in Europe tens of thousands of years ago asking himself or herself, what's on the other side of that mountain? What's across the river? Uh, I get, to the, I get to, the, to the shore and I see the ocean and I say to myself, what's on the other side of that? Um, we have climbed mountains, we have crossed deserts, we've crossed continents, we've gone to the ocean depths, we've gone to the moon. Uh, this is part of a, a, a process in human history where we continue to expand our horizons. So Mars is simply the next step in that much larger journey. And once we get to Mars, I'm certain that we will be looking beyond and saying, well, how do we get to the next planet or moon or solar system or galaxy? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this just happens to be the next frontier right now. What we do is dangerous. I'm willing to take that risk. I don't know if I am. There's very few jobs where part of the job requirement is I might lose my life. On top of that, these have to be deeply intelligent people that have a wide range of expertise. Um, and yes, who, who are able to communicate, uh, not just amongst one another, but to the rest of the world, because they're ambassadors for humanity. Uh, so, so you're looking at um, uh, an extraordinary set of qualities that someone must have in, in order to become an astronaut in the first place. Uh, and yet, at the same time, when you talk to these astronauts, they're also, they also seem like regular people. They have their families and their hobbies and their interests and their idiosyncrasies and their flaws. My focus right now is my daughter. You can't let her bring us down too. I kind of didn't humanize astronauts because I thought they were on such a pedestal. It was such an unbelievably sort of insurmountable job to do and there must be, you must be a, such a specific person. But actually, um, the more I spoke to astronauts, and we did manage to speak to a few, um, and the more I watched and read, I realized that they did, I mean, it's sort of, I, it was, it's kind of, quite short-sighted of, it had been quite short-sighted of me to have assumed that they didn't have the same normal problems that everybody else does. Did we make a mistake? I've got four people whose lives depend on my judgment. Actually, from what I've read, NASA look for people who do not react emotionally to situations. And I'm not saying that actresses are hysterical, emotional beings, but the nature of our job is to, um, to, emotionally connect with whichever character we're playing and I thought that was a really interesting that's five people fulfilling the destiny of eight billion so even in House of Cards or Ides of March you may have seen people that mostly came off as bad and yet also had elements of goodness within them here in the first you're gonna see mostly good people who also have flaws and, and are capable of doing things that they might be regretting or ashamed of. Uh, they make mistakes. So I think most human beings are a mixture, you know, and it's, and, and it's inescapable that, uh, you know, we, we are going to find elements of both within ourselves um, because none of us are really are demons and none of us are saints. Um, we're all just trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah.